Why does it seem like no matter how hard you work, breaking free from poverty feels impossible? Welcome back to Empower and Thrive. In this video, we're diving into the hidden challenges that keep so many people stuck in a cycle of financial struggle and more importantly, what you can do to overcome them. We'll explore powerful strategies for escaping poverty traps, including how to invest in your education, build financial literacy, and create multiple streams of income. If you're ready to take control of your financial future and break the cycle for good, stick around. You won't want to miss this. Poverty traps are situations where a person's financial circumstances reinforce themselves, making it difficult to escape poverty. These traps can be tied to various factors, such as limited access to education, lack of job opportunities, or poor health. The much overused example is of someone who is unemployed and qualifies for basic living assistance, but then once they become employed, they make just enough to no longer qualify for assistance. But they don't make enough to pay their bills, leaving them worse off than they were on government assistance. They are essentially trapped. Breaking free from this cycle, also called a poverty trap, requires determination, strategic planning, and the willingness to make difficult choices. One of the first steps to breaking free from the poverty trap is investing in education and skill development. Education opens doors to better job opportunities and higher income potential. Even if formal education is inaccessible, there are numerous free or low-cost resources available online to learn new skills, whether it's improving your literacy, learning a trade, or gaining expertise in a specific field. Continuously developing your skills can make you more competitive in the job market and help you secure better paying positions. Another critical strategy is financial literacy. Understanding how to manage money, create a budget, and save for the future can be transformative. By tracking expenses and prioritizing savings, even if it's a small amount, you can start to build a financial cushion that provides security and opens up opportunities for investment, whether it's in further education, starting a small business, or moving to a location with better job prospects. I personally left the beautiful Pacific Northwest, my home region, behind to pursue my career goals, and I think it was a very smart move for me. Networking and community support are also powerful tools. Surrounding yourself with people who share similar goals or have successfully overcome poverty can provide motivation, advice, and opportunities. Joining community groups, attending local events, or participating in online forums can help you connect with others who can offer support or even job leads. Mental resilience is another essential factor in overcoming poverty. The journey out of poverty is often long and filled with multiple setbacks. Cultivating a mindset of persistence and optimism can help you stay focused on your goals, even when the path is challenging. Practicing mindfulness, seeking support from friends or mentors, and setting small, achievable goals can keep you motivated and on track. Breaking the poverty cycle also involves taking proactive steps to improve your health and well-being. Poor health can be both a cause and consequence of poverty, so prioritizing physical and mental health is crucial. You don't need expensive gym memberships or fancy diets to do this. Start with simple, low-cost options. Incorporate more fruits and vegetables into your meals by shopping at local farmer's markets, growing your own if you have room, or even going to a local food pantry. For exercise, try walking, jogging, or following free workout videos online. These small, accessible changes can improve your overall well-being, making it easier to maintain a job and manage stress. Lastly, creating multiple streams of income can provide greater financial stability. This could involve taking on a part-time job, freelancing, or starting a small side business. Diversifying your income sources can reduce the risk of financial instability and provide more opportunities to save and invest in your future. Just make sure they are legitimate sources and don't fall into any get-rich-quick schemes or anything that is too risky. 
Understanding the challenges of breaking the poverty cycle is the first step toward overcoming them. By focusing on education, financial literacy, and taking proactive steps to improve your health and income, you can pave the way to a more secure and prosperous future. Thanks for watching Empower and Thrive. If this video gave you valuable insights, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more content designed to help you take control of your financial journey. Until next time, stay determined and keep thriving.